Facebook VIP. How y'all doing today? We got a little bit of rain, so you need to let me know if you can hear me. Um, I seem to be wanting to look this way for some reason, but the camera's actually over here. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, just let me know if you can hear me. Uh, we have a lot of rain coming down right now, and uh, it's a little noisy on this side. How you doing, Daryl? Pat, all good? You can hear me? Can you hear the rain? Just let me know if it's loud. I mean, nothing I can do about it. I, I can't stop the rain. How you doing, Dwayne? Hey, look, we have three appetizers, all right? So um, uh, one of them I have in right now, it's really it's something you, everybody already knows how to do, but I just I already had some Brussels sprouts and I had bacon and I wanted to get it started, but I do have a dip that you can add to it, okay? So that's the bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. Um, then I have a, this is another like super, super simple thing you can do. Uh, you just get a skillet, some uh, mozzarella, um, cheese, uh, uh, and you want to get the good the stuff that's in the bowl, right? You don't want to get the shaved up stuff and all that crap, right? Um, you want to get fresh stuff. Uh, put a little marinara sauce in the skillet. Hey, don't Steve. Hey, Chris. Um, and then you just throw it on the grill. All right, and you toast up some bread. So I'm gonna do that while we're doing this other stuff. But the real main thing I was planning on doing today, it's a grilled mozzarella, avocado, bacon, shrimp toast. So anyway, I got the bacon, I got the shrimp, I got everything right over here. And then I got other stuff over there sitting on the grill. Ace got here. I didn't think she was going to make it. So anyway, um, so we're ready to get started. How you doing, John? Bacon, bacon, bacon. Right. So the other thing, that the, the three things that are uh, in everything today is balsamic, either vinegar or glaze, um, olive oil or uh, garlic olive oil, uh, bacon, and mozzarella except the mozzarella is not in the bacon wrap Brussels sprouts. I just kind of threw that in last minute because I wanted some bacon wrap Brussels sprouts. How you doing, Biddy? Um, look, let me kind of get started. How you, doing? How you doing, Phil? All right, look, again, everybody needs to let me know if this, is, if this is even helping them at all or do I need to go to a different level or a different way, okay? If you like it, you got to let me know. If you don't, don't worry about hurting my feelings. Um, it would hurt my feelings more if you didn't get anything out of this. So, um, so let me know what you think. Like if it's shit, tell me it's shit. But what I really would like to know is if anybody is even trying this stuff, right? I don't know that I saw anybody try it uh, and post it on the group last week um, for what I did last Sunday. Uh, but if you do, we want you to post it. Let us know how you like it. Like did anybody try the meat, I mean the beast maximizer uh, marinade um, because if you did uh, you'll find out that's some good shit don't don't not try it all right Ch try it out anyway um, let me check on the Brussels sprouts just to see if they're done they're probably getting um, uh, uh, close to done yeah Benny that's right yeah th thanks Daryl yeah Benny how you feeling man let me try it. check this out Woo. all right they close can you see them So I'm going to try something new. Hold on. I'm going to hold on. So I got some little gadgets to make everything easy. Right? I can actually stream to like a couple different places at the same time now. So like, I'm only doing a few just for a snack, right? But they're almost done. So um, I'm going to throw together this uh, little, um, this little sauce that goes with it. Which really, it's going to take like two seconds. So the sauce, it is a um, a balsamic a mayonnaise, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm not good with all the fancy names. So this is five tablespoons of mayonnaise. 
And then when you say it like that, it doesn't sound good. But when you add uh, some balsamic vinegar to it, you want to do about a, a tablespoon. So it's like five to one, right? I'm not good at guessing, so. All right, we're back. That's Pat if the video is back on. All right, cool, it's back. John just signaled. Dude, I don't know what's going on. I got like a great signal around here for uh, internet. And I have uh, three wireless routers around my house. Actually, four. So, um, I don't know what happened. But anyway, Jennifer, how you doing? Hey, Chris Jones. All right, look. Let me finish this aioli up. Whatever you want to call it. Look. Just mayonnaise and balsamic vinegar. And it's for anybody who just came on. This is for um, bacon wraps, uh, Brussels sprouts. Since they're almost done. This is just something I'm going to snack on as soon as they cool off. While I'm doing this other stuff. Alright? So that's ready. So this is how easy that crap is. Alright? You just mix that up and wrap some Brussels sprouts and some bacon. The dip is awesome. So um, if somebody comes to your house and they've had bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts, they probably haven't had this dip in salt to go with it. So, I'm going to throw the Brussels sprouts up here. Let them go a little bit longer. You want that bacon nice and crispy. So whenever I do anything with bacon, I do at least 350 degrees, usually closer to 400, because I want the bacon to get nice and crispy. Other people might do it different. That's just the way I do it. So look, the other thing that I wanted to do, and this is another really, really, really easy, easy, easy thing. You need a cast iron skillet. Now you can do this in your oven, or you can do it in, in your grill. Now, we're grill bees. We do everything in the grill that we can do in the grill. So, um, you need some marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. If you have homemade, great. But um, for this, I don't think you're going to make a whole pot of homemade sauce. So, this is one of them. Like, if I go get a jar, this is what I get. It's uh, like five bucks a jar. It's really good shit. All right, so... Really, you just you pour, you just cover the bottom of the pan, kind of, you know, I don't really know what the measurement is. I've never measured. All right, so you do that. You do, um, you got your whole ball of fresh mozzarella. Just sit that bad boy down in there like that. You drizzle just a little bit of garlic olive oil on it, not too much. What brand is that um, sauce? Mazella? Uh, the brand of the sauce, I'm not even sure it has. Mazetta? Mazetta? I don't know. This is the brand of the sauce. I get it at Rouse's. I don't know where, you know, it's the only place I've ever seen it. But I'll tell you what, this is. For a jar sauce, this is some good shit. I like that one too. Yeah, I mean, it's like the bomb. So, um, so you do that, and look. This is fresh basil, right? I just chopped it up, all right? And you just kind of like sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Really, if you have, if you get pesto or you make some pesto, I just didn't have time to make pesto. Um, that's ideally, but this garlic olive oil, and basil, that's almost pesto, okay? So that's good enough right there because I need this basil for my other thing too. So like anytime I do these on Sunday and I do more than one thing, it's because they all share ingredients. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, so anyway, dude, that's it. That's it. You throw this in the grill and you just let it roll, okay? Now, Stick it right there. 
kind of like direct. We'll see how it goes. The bacon is almost done. Almost done. Can everybody still hear me? Yeah. So um, it had been suggested to me a couple times um, to hook this up to my 50-inch TV here so I can read the comments. I tried that this morning. I still couldn't read the comments. Um, Is he still too small? Yeah, so my vision just isn't good enough for that. So um, I'm looking at your comments as good as I can. Uh, all right, Lucas is doing some stuffed peppers today. Yeah, um, it is drink time. Actually, you know what, uh, um, uh, something I thought of today is every Sunday I'm going to do a new drink too. And we're going to start it off with um, the beast drink um, that was put together. And um, we'll go over that and make sure um, credit is due to the person who came up with it. Was that Debbie? Yeah. Oh, man, I feel horrible. I'm pretty sure it was Debbie. Um, <laughs> uh, glasses. You know, I, try, I went and got my glasses, Brenda. Uh, they were on my desk, which I hardly ever wear them. And it, did, it still didn't help. So maybe I need to get another. Uh, Binoculars. Right. Kenneth Sands. You know what, Kenneth, we ought to get together, man. There's like a good bit of us that are on the North Shore here. We can get together. I want to do that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get to my next thing, um, which um, it, what is, I don't even have a name for it. I'm sure there's a name for it somewhere out there. I've tweaked the uh, recipe a little bit, but it's grilled mozzarella avocado bacon shrimp toast. I don't know what we're going to call it. We're going to come up with a name because we're putting our cookbook together. It's, it's an ongoing process, right? Uh, Tyrone. Right, you know what? Tyrone sent me an awesome recipe. Um, I don't know, it's been a while, maybe a year ago. No, not a year ago, probably nine months ago. Um, so we, we're going to have to have that on the, uh, on the show. So let me get started. I just want to get a little sip. A little sip going. Uh, I think we can call the uh, the bacon done, or the bacon wrapped asparagus done. I mean, uh, there you go. There you go. Like I said, I just made enough of snacks. Cause I like to eat all this stuff when it first comes off. I don't like it sitting around. So anyway, so we're gonna let that cool down a little bit. Um, something that goes with this. See, look, this is good. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah you can kind of see. It. Um, look, this is gonna melt down and it's gonna be nice and. I don't know. You're gonna see. It. It's gonna be nice. All right. Anyway. So for the main thing here. Um, um, so I got this uh, Italian artesian loaf, baguette, whatever the heck it is, right? It's a big, long, skinny, like a sub roll, right? And I cut it up and we're going to use it for both things. So this here, the thicker cuts, are actually for um, what's in the grill right now, okay? Um, these are for the... Uh, what did I call them? I need a name for them so I don't have to keep naming out what it is. The grilled mozzarella avocado bacon shrimp toast. That's too long of a name. I don't know if we can call it beast toast. I don't know if that fits. But anyway, what we want to do with this is drizzle, like not the big thick toast, but these little ones here, the thinner ones, you drizzle that with some uh, garlic olive oil. Now you can make garlic olive oil yourself, I didn't, but I cheated and I bought it, which is nothing wrong with that. You just kind of drizzle it on. You don't want too much of it, right? So you do that. We're going to put this in there. We're going to put all the toast in here at the same time. But we do kind of have to keep an eye on it. Let me... Uh, Right, 
except to get better flavor. Alright. So really you almost don't even need to cover the grill for this. Because really I want to keep an eye on all this for the uh, toast. Um, those are not cooled down quite enough. So if anybody has any questions, now is a good time because I need uh, a little filler here. Right, Lucas will work for is that Craig that'll work for food or a Lucas? I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, if anybody has any questions at this time, and look, um, I don't really have the specific recipe for this up at the top. Um, I will edit the post and and put it in there, but it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And if you skim through the, uh, hey, Monty, how you doing? Right, that's true. I do. I use my pants all the time. I never, it is too hot to be wearing an apron, man. It is, this is supposed to be the last humid day around here. Oh, dude, are you serious? So John says that my speech and the video are out of sync. Um, it's probably because the video got messed up from the lost connection, I assume. Uh, oh, okay, when I was making the sauce, right. Um, no, I've never dry aged uh, beef yet. I, I was thinking about getting one of those dry agers, but um, I really haven't heard anything. Uh, or I don't know anybody that has one, so I've been kind of holding off. Um, yeah, so it, it, the, the, the complete recipe will be in the post above when we finish. I just kind of did a generalization right now, just so uh, you knew what we were cooking. Um, oh, Brenda says we're good. My voice matches up with me. My, my mouth, right? Uh, will you adopt me? Yeah, Phil, come on over, man. I got an extra room, even. Um, hey, Wade, how you doing, Aaron? Uh, okay, yeah, all right, cool. Everybody's in the same. All right, so look, um, let me go check on the toast, see how we are. Look, this is melting down. Let me take it off the right. Alright, so I'm going to do the toast, some of it on direct, just to speed this up on this. i got to take, i got to take, I put this sauce with the cheese uh, over direct heat to get it rocking, but it is um, rocking almost a little bit too much. It will be fine. It is melting down, it's just going to take a little bit of time. So, I'm flipping, in case you can't see it. Let me bring you over here. All right. So uh, we're flipping all these over. Because really we just get these just a little toasted. We want these toasted nice, not quite that nice. So that'll be all right. Almost burnt my toast, but it's fine color and flavor. You can see this. This is getting gooey. See that? So, um, try something else. Yeah. All right. This is perfect. 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 All right. So this toast is for that. So I'm going to put that aside. Hold it up, guys. Ow. All right. So and this toast here is for our. Or bacon shrimp toast. Maybe we'll call it bacon shrimp toast. All right. So let me bring you back over, back around. Here we go. All right. Everybody good? 
All right, so, so see, we just got like some nice, see like this toasted up really nice. I probably should have done the same thing to that. But it's good, it's all right. So really at this point, we want to um, just sprinkle just a little bit of chopped up basil. Now if you have um, some basil leaves that are really soft, like these were kind of soft, they weren't, you know, they were fresh, but they were still, they were starting to dry. So if your basil is, um, is super fresh, you might not have to chop it up as much. Okay, so you just kind of sprinkle that on. All right, nice and easy. Oh, so this is the shrimp. I threw it on some skewers. This is fresh shrimp, all right? So we want to grill this up. I'm gonna have to put my gloves on for that. All right, so that's gonna grill up. And I don't want to forget about the shrimp. And I, if I can undercook it just a hair, um, it would be better. But um, again, we shall see. All right, so with this, these are the ingredients, basically. All right, so we got some avocado. You just want to cut it up as thin as you can, kind of put it on there. Okay. So um, the hard time, sometimes it's hard finding good avocados that are nice and soft, but since you're putting them in the grill and you're cutting them really thin, they don't have to be perfect, okay? But you still want them to get, you know, pretty soft. Okay, so, and you don't want to overload it with too much stuff. There you go. Sauce is almost ready. Okay, so um, now you want to throw in just a couple tomatoes on each one. Again, you don't want to overload it because you got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm not sure how we're going to fit everything on here already. All right, see, like just one whole little cherry tomato on each one. All right, now we need our cheese on there. So with this. I got the little baby balls of mozzarella. They're still the fresh, but the little tiny pieces, right? And it makes it a lot easier. Alright? So you know what you need? Put like probably three on each one. But if you want to put four, you can put four. However you want to do it. Dude, this is looking good. Okay, hold on. Let that go open for a minute. All right, so. Now we have, uh, this is all fresh bacon. I just fried this bacon on the flat top. And again, you don't want too much, because we all love bacon, but we don't want it to taste just bacon, right? We want to taste everything. Actually, at this point, I'm not sure where the shrimp is gonna go. How's that look? Looks freaking good, I think. <laughs> All right, so can y'all see how good that looks? That looks good in the camera. Hold on. Can you see it on the film? Oh, you can see it? Mm -hmm. So, I just want to show you just how, well, like my angle, right? So, I can't see what they're saying. Yeah, they can see it. All right, so that's what it looks like right now. I still got to put the shrimp on it and uh, a little salt and pepper 
and then we're going to put it back on the grill. Okay, you could actually, well, no, you want that cheese to melt down. Okay, so let me see. All right, shrimps are almost ready. The shrimps, that's what they say around here, shrimps. So anyway, we are very close. Um, actually, let me get the salt and pepper, and uh, we can, I can go ahead and salt and pepper this now. One second. So anyway, supposedly this is the last humid day in Louisiana for a while. I woke up 4 o'clock this morning and it was 93% humidity. It was freaking hot. So anyway, so look, you don't want like a ton of salt. You just want this to hit it. I wonder if I should have used that smoke salt. Just kind of hit it just a little bit of salt, right? And then the pepper. Same thing, you don't want a ton of pepper, just a hair. Alright. Alright, you know what? That's uh, the um, the shrimp is done enough because it's gonna continue the cook. So I'm just going to throw one shrimp on each, on each one. That was for me. <laughs> Alright. Almost ready. Okay, so these don't have to go in for a long time. This one up. You just want that cheese to melt. At least get really soft. Can y'all see this really good? Like, I don't know. In person, it looks awesome. I hope you guys can see it. Can see. Does it has a look on the phone? Mm -mm. What do you mean? Oh, you're not looking at it. I'm not filming. I'm oh, looking. I thought you were looking at the cheese. All right. Close that up. Now it's just waiting game. But I can't taste these. So. Good. I really good. <laughs> and the balsamic mayonnaise. It's perfect. So, um. So the only thing we need to do for that when it comes out is put a balsamic glaze on it. So in case you don't know, if you don't have balsamic glaze, I might be pronouncing that wrong too. Balsamic, balsamic, whatever balsamic. it is. So to get balsamic glaze, you take balsamic vinegar, you dump it in a pan, heat it up, and you reduce it halfway. And that's basically what the glaze is. All right, but I didn't want to get rid of that. I wanted some glaze, so I got some glaze. So the only thing I have to do is when we pour that off, drizzle some glaze on it, it is done. Money. Money. All right, so look, let me put this aside. Actually, I'm going to put this in the fridge. And... 
still hot. <laughs> okay, <you're stupid. laughs> One second, everybody. All right, so we'll throw the toast on there, and then we'll throw the skillet with the other stuff on here. All right, because everything's going to be hot. All right, let's see how it looks. Is anybody asking any questions? No, just All right, Robert. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you think everything's cooled down, you grab it. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. Oh, man. Woo! Now, you do see how hot this skillet is. I mean, it's been in a 400 degree um, grill for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. The uh, toast is almost done. You can see the. Um, See the cheese starting to melt. Now this here, oh my God, this looks so good. I'm trying to find something to stir this with. I'll just use this. Yeah. So, ooh, let this cool down a little bit. going to continue to melt that cheese all right but you obviously you cannot eat it when it's that hot and I just splash it all over my hand and everything all right so we're just waiting on that and we got a feast so with this you just take your bread you scoop it in you eat it all right it's that easy so um Just need to give that a minute. How you doing, Debbie? Yes, that was the <laughs> mystical age. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so look, I think we're going to take this off. So can you see that in here? Mm -hmm. Can y'all see? They can see. Alright. So look, you don't need a whole bunch of it, but you just want There you go. That's the masterpiece. Wow. Now we might want to bring them closer. All right. Just so they can see it because it's so pretty. All right. So. So. That's it right there. All right. Is it showing up on the phone? Mm-hmm. Alright, so, anyway, again, I hope this stuff is like something different that, that you normally would not um, think about making, because um, to me, that's really what I'd rather bring you guys rather than another way to do a pork butt or another way to do chicken. I mean, I'm happy to help with that stuff, but I mean, we have tons of people in the group that, that do all that kind of stuff now. And, um, um, 
Like some of this stuff, it's a bug trying to eat my daggone stuff. <laughs> Shithead. So anyway, um, I'd really like to see some people try some of this stuff and post it in the group. That would actually let me know that you actually want to see this kind of stuff. And if it's not what you want to see, let me know. I'll change shit up, all right? Because I want to do what you guys want. This isn't what I want. You know what I mean? Although this is actually what I want. This is really good stuff. Um, like, and like this is the easy shit, right? I mean, I just put this together and how long we've been on? Um, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, and I just did three appetizers, right? And these are things that most people that might come to your barbecue probably don't get, right? I mean, most people get chicken and boudin. And, well, a lot of people don't get boudin. We get boudin. We love boudin. Um, you know what I mean? But this is stuff you can have with your, your other stuff, right? Um, that people can munch on and say, woo, this is some good shit. Uh, Debbie? Uh, it depends on what side, what part of Texas you're in. Yeah. Um, Paul, great format, cooking different foods. Good, I'm glad, you, right? That's cool. Look, and if you if, if there's something that you want to see, let me know that too. I mean, I'm going to come up with stuff every week. I'm actually pulling stuff out of what we're going to have in our cookbook. So everything that you see me cook is stuff that's going to be in our cookbook, our grill book, our beast, whatever we're going to call it. We don't have a name for it yet, right? So, um... Again, I hope this is like, please try this stuff. Post it. Let me know how it tasted to you. Try it at Beast Flavor Maximizer Marinade. I'm telling you, if you would try it, you would be hooked on it. Um, yeah, Randy, are you talking about the grill? Yeah, I just let it rock on hot. Hot as it goes, you know, for all this stuff. Um, a lot of stuff on the grill, I just go hot. Unless it's something like... Um, a tri-tip or, or, so, or you know, obviously a brisket, and pork butt, all that kind of stuff. If I do do it on the grill, that's always low and slow, baby. Uh, oh, so, um, hey, this is uh, something interesting. So yesterday I posted that we're doing this contest because if you look up at the top of the group, we had this old picture we just threw up there when we started the group. It got some lame-ass tongs. Um, we didn't have tongs at that time, so I went ahead and used that. But I always planned on changing that um, picture once we had some of the new tools that we just came out with in the last six months. And um, uh, Chris brought it to my attention. And apparently Thomas, I think he said Thomas, I hope I got that right, brought it to his attention that, hey, we should change that uh, banner at the top. And then Chris thought, hey, it'd be great to have a contest. So if you guys have, I know a lot of you guys do, uh, Beast um, tools take some pictures of like we want the beast tools to be you know the star of the show in that banner up there and whatever you're cooking and if you're in it and you can get it all together with your face in it that's all cool too we're gonna pick one and that person if they if they don't have a beast a beastly barbecue kit they'll get one for free and if they already have that they'll get fifty dollars worth of free stuff whatever that is so that's probably the best way to, to say it if we use your banner at the top you get fifty dollars worth of free stuff, all right? And so, we're, so what? What we want you to do is post the picture in the group, and do hashtag GBVIP, okay? Grill Beast VIP, okay? And I don't know that anybody has posted anything yet. I did a search this morning, and I saw something that Jennifer put up, but I think those were other posts because apparently I think Jennifer puts Grill Beast VIP on everything which is awesome. We love that shit. Right, Pat Scott, right. Hashtag GBVIP. Or for us older people, it's pound GBVIP, right? Um, they just keep finding a different use for the pound sign. So um, unless you have any questions, I'm, I want to eat. And um, I don't know if y'all are watching football. Hey, Eric. So that's my brother, Eric Johnson, that has the... Uh, the this, this, this sperm seed as a <laughs> as a uh, profile picture. That's my younger brother. A lot of people are watching football. Yeah, so everybody's watching football. That's all cool. I hope everybody stood and uh, showed some respect. But um, anyway, <laughs> so Eric says let's pound some GB VIP. Right, let's do it. 
Free samples? Yeah, right. If you come over here, man, it's free samples. All right? So, look, we're going to wrap this up. All uh, right, Eric is much younger. Uh, Eric, I think, is five years younger than me. So, Eric should be hitting 45. So, anyway. Uh, David. Well, I'm, I'm actually a, a Ravens fan. So, um, but, you know, if, if, I'll, I'll go for the Saints sometimes, right? But I like the Ravens. Um, so, anyway, look. I'm going to rock it out of here and uh, feed myself and everybody else. And you guys have a great Sunday. Um, and I hope Sunday's working out, you know. Uh, if it's not, you need to let me know that too. I just kind of figured it's the best day. But I know people do football and all that kind of stuff on Sunday. So, But you can always watch the replays, right? Um, anyway, make some of this stuff. Let me know what you thought of, please. All right? Peace out. Have a nice day. Uh, love you guys. Talk to you later. Post some pictures of y'all using the tools, and you might win 50 bucks worth of stuff. All right? Debbie, Jennifer, Shane. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and for now on, every Sunday is going to be a, oh, man, that's a tough one. Can I commit to every Sunday being a new drink? Holy crap. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a new drink every Sunday. At least, I don't know, maybe one new drink a month. Maybe we should do it that way. And then I drink that drink every Sunday for that month. So we're going to start with the beast, uh, the beast. Yeah, I didn't get one today. Ace didn't get one. <laughs> Apparently I was greedy. I need one too. Um, Ace was out partying last night. I had a Halloween party. She went to a Halloween party dressed as an emo, uh, no, uh, a Snapchat filter. A Snapchat filter. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, you know what we thought about having a contest? It's Halloween, some kind of beastly thing. So you guys think about that. Love you too, Pat. Um, so we got a contest for the banner, and we I want to do a contest. I wanted to do it last year, but I couldn't think about it. I didn't think about it until the last minute. Um, um, but let's try to do a contest on uh, if, if people like to dress up. I mean, I'm not really a big dresser up a person, but I know we have people in here to do. We take those people, and they can have a contest. They can yeah. win some beast stuff. All right, again, this is what we made today. Oh, shit. Let me just do a reef. All right, so I'm not I'm not used to using this. So anyway, all right, that's that was the main star of the show, and then we got that, which it is really good. I'm wrapping it up. I'm going and all. I'm I'm rambling now. All right, y'all, peace out. Love you. Have a great Sunday. Out of here.